everyone. Thank you for watching Kanata's in the Kitchen. I'm Joni Petrie today with Chef George Caslow, Sh Chef Tony DeZalvo. How y'all doing? Just Great. Right. Having a good day today so far? Always. <laughs> Perfect. So I hear y'all have some fresh cut center pork chops for us and uh, we're going to be doing some kind of sauce over that. Is that right? right we're going to do a uh, marsala sauce, kind of like a twist on the uh, upscale restaurants of a chicken marsala. Oh, all right. And Brown them off some... into flour, deglaze your pan, add your vegetables, a little marsala wine. Oh, we'll just okay. finish them off. Makes a great sauce. Yeah. Put on top Real of Real quick and easy. You know, uh, as Chef mentioned, it's a take on the chicken marsala, which you see in many restaurants today. Mm -hmm. It's also a take on veal marsala. Okay. And uh, you'll see that uh, this pork, uh, these are center cut, and these are center cut pork chops. They almost look like a little porterhouse. Right. Because you've got That's some right. of the loin, and then you've got some of the rib. Okay, and Chef Tony makes his own, uh, and he's kind of um, very shy about it, but he makes his own rub, okay? And you can make your own rub, as he said, for flavoring. With the different seasonings? Right. And as he explained, he's gonna brown them for us. Again, your own little rub, or even salt and pepper. Add it to your flour. Just mix all that together. Mix all that together. Mm -hmm. That keeps him from having to season each one. He seasoned the flour. Just a little bit of oil, canola. You don't want to use anything like olive oil uh, just yet. You're not really building on flavor. Just kind of dredge them in that flour and then we add them to the pan. He wants to be able to heat the pan hot enough and he can heat the canola oil hotter than he can heat the olive oil. Right, so just a light coat of the seasonings. Right, exactly. On both sides and then just put it in the pan to start browning. Exactly, exactly. And you're going to pull them out once they're brown to deglaze the pan with a little marsala and the chicken stock. And the deglaze takes the flavor mm -hmm. that sticks to the bottom of the pan after Chef removes the chops. And what it does in deglazing with the stock is that it helps to remove that flavor from the bottom of the pan that sticks and get it into the sauce. And, and you can still building. use it. Exactly. Right. So it just adds to the flavor using the same stuff from and then the, the Marce Exactly. From exactly. the chops. Exactly. He's using the flavor from the chops. He's using the flavor of the stock. And he's also going to be using the flavor of the Marsala. So again, he's got different layers of flavor. Excellent. Do you cook at home? Yes, I do. And I'm learning things too. <laughs> Excellent. Y'all teaching me a lot of stuff uh, up Excellent. Here. I think you should teach me. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, uh, our appetizer today. Uh, today we've got a jalapeno sausage. And we haven't had this on the set. And this is one of our better selling sausage. And you know, if, if you look at it on the grill, I know that uh, it, it's really appetizing. We brought a few uh, Pistolets. Over. They're on pistolets, okay, that I uh, snatched out of the bake shop this morning. I know uh, tailgating is over, but uh, it's always something quick and easy. And I'll tell you, you we're check. still bringing it grab a piece. What? That's why I brought the buns. Because some of the main dishes take a while, so you might uh, want a little something to hold right. you over, so this would be perfect. This is perfect tailgating material. This is perfect football watching material. This time of the year now, we'll be in front of the set rather than tailgating. But I'm going to tell you right now, some people that are tailgating or eating outside or barbecuing, this is a perfect item. It's really good. Easy, right on the grill, afterwards or, or possibly with it or before the entree, the chops. This week, we've got dole salad blends. And those are on sale right now. And they're on sale. And what we've done is we've made here a little salad. And because we've got such beautiful cantaloupes, <laughs> yeah. I decided just to cut one up, mix a little salad. Now the salad comes already mixed. So really all you need to do Very simple. is present it Add and whatever then dress you want it to up it. a little bit. Easy enough. But the produce you have are also, they have a lot of produce on sale at Canada's right now. I do, and a couple and of other And you have great items. produce. I've got an onion here that you cannot believe. Now, if I pull this onion off the stack, I know it's going to fall off, so I'm not <laughs> going to do that. But um, I know we have a shot of it. Tremendous big onions. Uh, we've got some uh, jumbo lemons, and we do have the cantaloupes on sale. 
And right on top of my mountain of produce, <laughs> I happen to have portobello mushrooms. And mm. the mushrooms are also going to be used in the sauce that Chef Tony is preparing for the marsala. And marsala, in this case pork, pork chop marsala, mm -hmm. in other cases chicken or veal, marsala the word implies mushrooms and marsala wine. And that's so, what you have up here. Exactly. And you'll see this in fine restaurants. So this is a very reasonable, again, feed the family of four for under ten dollars. Now, I wanted to mention a line of cheeses that we have that are just gorgeous. We've made a platter over here. Yancey's Fancy. Yancey's <laughs> Fancy. Now I know it sounds a little wild, but Yancey's Fancy cheeses are from the Finger Lakes region of New York State. Wow. And the base of these are white and yellow cheddars that have been flavored. Champagne, jalapeno, cayenne, I see that. hot strawberry. wasabi, strawberry, strawberry chardonnay. chardonnay. Exactly. And we've got about eight flavors that we're working with. And they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're really easy to handle. They make a nice uh, centerpiece. Again, if you're tailgating, if you're barbecuing, if you're watching football, if you're watching basketball. I've never had flavored cheese. Gorgeous, really a beautiful, beautiful way, uh, uh, way to just sit around, snack. You just put it on a cracker? Put it on a cracker, make pieces, very, very easy to work with. Okay, while we're here, I know that we've been talking about king cakes, but yes. we brought something special this week, and that's our children's king cake. I like that idea. They, they could the, decorate it themselves. Exactly. And it's just a traditional cinnamon. It is. The original flavor. It is, correct. It's got the sugars. They would love to do that. That's and an art project. And they get to get their hands dirty. <laughs> and really, they brought it for me. That's, That's why Yeah, because really it's fun for you, right? Chef, what how we doing? <laughs> Went ahead and put those pork chops out. Add just a touch of olive oil. Some of those portobello mushrooms. Onions. A few of the colored bell peppers. Some garlic, a little bit of butter, just to kind of give a little bit of richness, some thyme, and just a little bit of chicken stock right now. And we'll come back with that marsala. And you're just going to cook that down, all just, of that? Just slowly cook down, add the pork chops back in after. Just a touch of flour, just to kind of thicken it back up. Flour holds it, we'll hold it together just a little bit, thicken the chef's in. Right, so once all that smothers down, like right. you said, you're going to add the uh, pork chops back to it. Exactly. For the sauce, so it'll be in the sauce. And the vegetables are going to give off a little bit of water, so that's why Chef is going to use a little bit of flour to tighten it back up. Right, the peppers, Just a little bit of right. bring it back together. Okay. Exactly. All right. It's also that added to really salad. Good. So as you see now. And how much of that did you add to? That's about a half a cup. About a half a cup. Oh. It didn't add that much, about a half a cup. It's, it's got a distinctive flavor. The Marcel is not really a drinking wine, it's a cooking wine, wouldn't you say, Chef? Yeah, it's, well, I'm not going to even go there. Some people <laughs> might drink it if, if, they're, if, they're, if they're on a budget, but. Uh, that's funny. I mean, that's why we have a shortener to go with our pork chops today. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this segment up, guys. For everyone watching, don't go away. When we come back, we'll give you the information on our flowers and we'll give you information on king cakes, catering, and we'll have our special guest once again, so stay right there. Sweet sound. Yes, it's time for Kanata's world famous king cakes like apple cinnamon pecan, strawberry cream cheese, king creole praline, blueberry pecan. 60 fabulous flavors. And every Kanata's king cake is made from scratch, the old fashioned way. That's why we're the official king cake of Mardi Gras. Our king cakes make the perfect gift, and we ship worldwide only at Kanata's. A cut above.
for information on recipes, you can visit www.canadas.com or www.htv10. And as we mentioned earlier, flowers make everything extraordinary. So for flowers, you can visit the website at www.canadasflowers.com or you can call them directly at 985-873-9102. And for any event that you're planning, Event Solutions number is 985-873-9119. Girl, you did that great. What? I'm getting it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Got a new I mask on today. Yes, I do. I'm like trying to introduce all of them that we have at the store. Looks great. A you got some fun. more king cakes for us today with some new fillings? Yes, we do. We have some new ones that we're introducing today. We're launching them off this week. It's our chocolate king cake. It's with chocolate dough. Wow. And we have the different icings and the different fillings that are going to be in there. Got some great names, too. Big yeah. Easy, Voodoo Queen. That's right. Fantastic. Great. It's going to be a great line. It It'll is. be about four different, four different chocolate king cakes. Yes, ma'am. Four different kinds, four different flavors inside in the icings. And it's really good. So they're not burnt. They're chocolate dough, and they're really going to be good. Mm, so I'm going to have to Y'all need that. to try them. Yes, and they're very good. I love this kid's thing. That's really good. That is. Kids would love to do that. That's like... Decorate your own. That's <laughs> decorate your own. My grandkids love it. So that's, so that's the fun thing. I'm waiting for them to come in to do that this year. But what I also want to let everybody know is that we have, do all the event solutions. We are your event solution coordinators. We do all the parties. We do the catering. We do the, lint, uh, the drinks, the flowers, the decorations. We do it all. We have the linen, everything. So from A to Z, we can take care of your parties when you need it. And don't forget, we have weddings. It is the season for the weddings right now. Yes. We're doing a lot of them. So please stop by if you have a wedding and a special day that you want us to do for you because you have to come in and book it early because we are booking quite, quite fast. Okay, good deal. Yes. Okay, speaking about weddings and catering, come on in for any event and we can accommodate you. You come, you work with our catering reps, our catering executives, our catering people, and... We don't work just off of a fixed menu. You come in, we plan with you. That's right. We sit down with you. Just want you to know also those king cakes, they come in 60 flavors. One now uh, more. That's we right. Have those four that's items. right, the four <laughs> chocolate ones now. That's Plus right. six, all right, so we'll say 64. <laughs> and I just want you to know today we've got a gooey butter amaretto filled. Uh-huh. All right, and we've got a pecan praline. Praline, praline. Bavarian. And I, they probably say it both ways. <laughs> probably say it both ways. And Where I'll try it after, not while. We there we go. Last week. So, so those are two of our other filled you uh -huh. see in the front. Very good uh, ones too. So I'm let's go back to the entree. How Chef Tony's doing over there? Well, we went to break. I went ahead and added those pork chops back to the uh, to the pot. Kind of coat them a little bit of that sauce and just let them slowly cook down. Maybe five, ten minutes at the most. We do Smells kind of a delicious. family mm. style. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Uh huh. And, and are you going to put some of that sauce on top of the potatoes? Mm. On top of the potato, exactly. <laughs> you got to have gravy with your potatoes. You notice the color of the sauce too. He's got a deep, deep, rich brown color in the marsala. That's also a classic marsala. And of course, oh, you have to have beautiful. those like that looks potatoes great. Yes, it does. in South Louisiana. It's a gorgeous platter. That is very pretty. It's an but over $10 You almost platter. don't want to eat it, though, because under it's too It looks so good. What you're seeing right there? This is an under $10 platter. Wow. Yeah. Okay, with these uh, four Fabulous shots. meal. Gorgeous. Really, really nice. And then if anybody wants some more sauce, there is more sauce there in there. There is more sauce. There's more gravy for them potatoes. Potatoes, Extra. bread. Extra. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, that looks great. We have our center cut pork chops. We have great produce on sale. We have some Chardonnay. Chardonnay, Washington State. <laughs> to wash it all down with. And we have some jalapeno sausage that we talked about, the dough salads on sale. So we have a great variety of things at Canada's. In addition to the flowers and the event solutions, they make everything easy for you. Our Yancey Fancy Cheeses. So we thank you for joining us today. We're going to close out. We see you next time. Y'all have a great day. Come back and Bye -bye. see us. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Great week.
Stand. And he asked to see me next week, and I told him I could.